Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more. All your trade are belong to us in Europe Universalis 4. So in one year, we can attack Aragon again. Aragon is allied with Portugal, Poland, England. Uh, we have quite a few claims on them, and I'd like to take all this land. I do want to get Palermo so we can start fabricating on Malta and Messina and Syracuse. Although with Tunis, we can actually fabricate on those three, but we can't get to Messina. So we need one more claim on you. We've got nothing but claims going on right now. We're a claiming machine. Remove Mamingan from the map. Really? You're gonna give me a mission way the hell up in there? Okay. Or we can do the Greed in Gibraltar mission. That autonomy is horrible. You know what we need to do? We need to attack the Ottomans and just connect this whole thing. So I'm leaning towards that route. We attack uh, Florence with the Papal State's help. And then we attack uh, Castile using that mission. And we are in a re-election phase, so... Yay for re-election. Go ahead and tech up here for now. And as soon as we get a diplomat free, I want to sell some ships, some of the old ones. Ships are starting to get more expensive. We're we're building new ones. And I still think it's better to if if you can find someone to sell ships to. I think France will buy them, and if not France, maybe the Papal State. If not them, then we'll probably upgrade. Travunia. Okay. I also want to fabricate some claims down here. I want to go and get claims on, like, all of this. So that we can attack these two. Tugarat's going to put us at war with Tunis. And our truce of Tunis is up already. So we just take a bunch of land from them. Alright, so the plan was, uh, first off, let's see if we can sell some ships. France has no money. Aragon has money, but they hate me. Switzerland has money, but they have no port ports. I guess the Papal State's really the only option. So what we're looking for then is we want to sell our old ships. First let's determine how many he wants to buy. Oh, that's not going to work. I've got to make the fleet smaller. So we can pick up 120 ducats for 10 ships. And to build 10 ships costs 200. So we're getting like 60% of the value of the ships. And then we just build new ones. That sounds good, sure. And then if there's no one else to upgrade, um, no one else to sell ships to, I will just... We'll just upgrade them all. Certainly is a lot easier that way. And then the galleys... I think we just upgrade those. Wait till the end of this month, get a tick. And then we'll send the navy home to a province where they can get repairs a little bit quicker. And actually, you should be repairing in a different province.
Okay, so the plan was we attack you, Papal State joins. We don't care about this stuff. Well, we have a truce right now. Oh, we have a truce for a long time. Shoot. Well, who else do you hate? You hate Milan, and I have no truce with them. Oh, it's beautiful. And we call all of our allies to war with all this? Beat the crap out of all that? We don't really need their help for this, but... By doing that, then we attack Castile, who can't call in the Papal State. We can easily beat Naples. We can easily beat Portugal. And, uh... How I'm gonna beat Castile, I don't... I haven't really figured that part out yet. <laughs> They're a deck ahead of me. Papal State has announced Tunis as their rival. I wish Tunis was my rival. Not gonna spend money on that crap. So these are pretty much all war galleys and flutes. Thanks for the reformed religion there, Castile. He's still on Tech 8, so our, our navy is definitely superior right now. I have fewer galleys, but they are better galleys. By how much? I can't remember. They have 15 cannons, 10 hull. I, I don't remember what the old ones had. And I've already upgraded all of mine away, so I can't look it up. I guess I could look it up if I wanted to go and look online. But I don't really want to do that. Too bad. I would, you know what I'd really prefer is to be able to call France in to a war with Castile. They've already... they've already... Castile has rivaled France, but France has not rivaled Castile. Still need more manpower. And there's nothing to do over there. Um, these temples are surprisingly efficient. According to this, I don't think that's right though. Is it really? I mean, like, is it gonna make? Because we don't. It's not gonna increase tax income efficiency. It's just. Wait, isn't that, wait, that is actually exactly what it does, isn't it? Local tax modifier plus 40%. So that does offset the local autonomy penalty, and it does provide that that much income. Huh. Well, I guess if it shows the number, it must be true, right? It must be. Whatever, we're making positive income. We could definitely afford better advisors, but... Haven't done it yet. Serbia's gone. It's 
What's up with me losing all my cardinals? Damn it. I need that papal influence. Seventy-one percent control. Aragon's still fighting for, for control against me. Wait a minute. Isn't Aragon my rival? Why aren't they embargoed? How did that happen? Well, my truce just expired, so... Let's remember to embargo them. They've embargoed me! Okay, Diplomat comes home, we embargo Aragon, then we attack... ...somebody. There's so many provinces to fabricate on right now. I need to continue all these fabrications on Tunis and, and the rest of Africa here for reasons, and then I need to fab fabricate on all of Mamluks. If I'm going to attack the Ottomans, I need to do that. I need another claims, more claims on you. I need to finish our claims on Aragon. Like, I need a claim on, Ar on Palermo. Alright, so without the embargo... Their trade power is at 82.6. Our embargo is going to be very strong. Next month that should knock them down quite a bit, from 82.6 down to who knows what. Conquer Zaragoza. Hey, a free claim would be nice. So let's say we attack you. So fabricating on Constantine. Um, let's keep one diplomat free because I think we're our, I think we're going to declare a war here pretty quick. Let's check to make sure we don't have any provinces we need to lower autonomy in. Negative 9%? Yeah, I think it's time for Nexus and Uboa to come down. Crete. Okay, so hopefully that helped out with some force limit or something. 57 force limit. Paying 11 ducats a month for our oversized navy. Got our claim on Constantine, which means that we could definitely do a war with Tunis. I needed to get a claim on Palermo, and I didn't do it. Alright, if I attacked you, we fight Portugal, Poland, England. France won't join. If we attack Castile, technically we have no CB right now. If France would just rival Castile, you know, like they should, that would be great. We have a truce with you. If I attacked Tunis, Papal State would join me, and this is a war that I want to do anyway. So why don't we use the Papal State against Tunis, and then while we're doing that, we can consider attacking Castile for Gibraltar. So I guess we're going with what we have. We'll make the war over Constantine. Tugurt has no other allies, so we might as well. Ooh, mothballed fort. Damn. Damn. Probably could have done that if I had paid attention. If I had checked first. Of course he's going to turn it back on, right? There's no way he's going to leave it off. He's going to leave it off. What the hell? He left it off. That's crazy. Oh, 
Okay, well. Okay, um, we could convert some stuff, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. We're going to focus on spreading out, getting these provinces taken care of. Oh crap. I think the core progress continues if I lose that siege though. Just in case, let's go engage him. He's only on tech 8. This is a horribly mismatched army. I don't really care, just go kill him. Full Elan just expired, rats. Ooh, 23 months. Now that is awesome. Okay, um, so we attack some Castilians. We take Gibraltar. And all we really have to do there is... It's mountains, so you know, we get there and then we just have to land somehow. We could land in Genoa and then march over. We have a fort here. I think that's pretty much the plan. I'm gonna park my entire army in Valencia. And I'm gonna march the entire thing down into Gibraltar and Granada. We're just gonna sit in the mountains and then go to hell. Hey, Pope, you should totally declare a crusade while we're doing this. That would be awesome. I mean, we're obviously crusading right now. Oh, is that considered an island? Oh, it's a strait. Get over there. Wait a minute, we just lost a fight? How'd that happen? Did we? I'm confused now. We lost that fight. Very well. Carry on. Okay, we will begin to stage now for the next war. Rebellion in Treviso. I don't care about one province. And the manpower pool is kind of low right now, so I'd rather not kill rebels. Especially if we're going to go to war with again against Castile. To Valencia we go. Okay, I need more claims on the Mamluks. Suez, please. And before we end this war, we have to start the war with Castile, and basically keep this war going for a while as well. So if we're going to do it, now's the time. We're on our own. One versus a lot. I didn't consider Naples. Naples does have a 13 stack. They could easily do some damage over here. 
I think we focus on killing the Naples Navy first if we can. Bohemia says they would help out in this war. France has a neutral attitude, or something's changed about their attitude now. I don't like that they have a tech advantage over me. If I just straight up attacked you... I can't call you into another war for a while anyway, so... Doesn't really matter. Hmm. So we fight... Portugal and... You know what might be even better is just allow their army to have free reign here. And then let them march this way or something and fight them away. Because if, if I try to fight the army of Portugal and Castile together on their own territory, it's prob I'm probably going to lose. On the other hand, I could occup full occupy Naples first. Occupy their holdings over the seas. Take naval superiority and maybe even kill their navy. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. We're going we're gonna to go for kill. Kill Naples first. Isolate the weak. Okay, I'm going to take a break here, and uh, in the next video we're going we're gonna to figure out if we can actually beat Castile yet. So, thanks for watching everyone, see you soon.